My name is Celia Sonnestrand and I work for a company called uh, Samtrafiken in Sweden. <clears throat> uh, Samtrafiken is a company owned by all public transport authorities in Sweden, like uh, Stockholm Public Transport and all those, uh, together with uh, private operators such as the largest train operator in Sweden and express bus companies. Our mission is to make it easier for passengers to travel with public transport in Sweden. And mainly we do this uh, by making it easier to combine different transport modes and uh, also different uh, companies in this industry <clears throat> into one single journey. And what we do on a daily basis is to collect a lot of uh, data, primarily timetables from uh, all the public transport companies in Sweden. And based on all this data we collect, we can produce a number of different services. And one of those is uh, this uh, service called Resrobot. It's a nationwide uh, journey planner in Sweden for public transport. Uh, we also produce tickets called Res Plus tickets. They are uh, in those tickets, it's possible to combine different operators and different transport modes into one single ticket for the customer. We also distribute all this data to third parties like Google and their service Google Transit. And uh, most important, and what I'm going to speak about today, is that we also uh, provide open APIs with all this data through something we call Traffic Lab. Uh, the background of uh, developing Traffic Lab was uh, that our industry had a quite old fashioned way of looking at our world. Uh, it was like we have all the information and we produce all the services and uh, do it in our own way. And that's the, that's the best way. Uh, However, what became more and more clear for us was that uh, our users and also third party developers could and also did so much more with this information that we ever could manage by ourselves. And after all, our mission is to make it easier to travel by public transport and it's not uh, necessarily to create everything by ourselves. And therefore we created uh, this service we call Traffic Club a couple of years ago together with uh, public transport here in Stockholm and the Research Institute Victoria in Gothenburg. Traffic Club is a community for open APIs in the public transport industry and uh, today we have more than 700 developers signed up for this community and we also have more than 1100 projects running at Traffic Club today. One of the APIs we present at Traffic Club is GTFS files for all public transport in Sweden. And GTFS stands for uh, General Transit Feed Specification. Uh, before it was Google Transit Feed Specification, but now it's general. Uh, that is uh, all planned information for all companies in Sweden and also all transport modes when it comes to public transport. And even though you maybe could say that this is only one single file, uh, I think this is what we are most proud of uh, today, as it is everything when it comes to public transport planned tra public transport, at least in Sweden. And another thing we did this spring was to arrange a travel hack uh, together with public transport in Stockholm and Victoria. Uh, this was a 24 hours uh, competition with almost 100 developers uh, working really hard to, to create new and innovative services for public transport. And uh, the winning team of this competition was uh, uh, Reseledaren. Uh, they 
created a great application targeted to people with uh, disabilities in order to help them to use public transport in a better way than, than it's than possible today. Uh, but that's all about what we have done in the past. And I would like to share uh, some um, uh, challenges or maybe opportunities for the future that we are facing when it comes to APIs and openness. And the first one uh, is about our IT infrastructure. <coughs> uh, this morning we have heard a lot about different API platforms and uh, how they can help us in different ways. But what we have done so far is to try to... We have used such a platform and we have tried to find quite easy ways to make our services available through APIs. However, the next uh, necessary step is to deal with uh, the back office systems and, and make them uh, work a bit better, I think. Uh, today we have really complex systems uh, behind and um, we, we have sometimes problems to, to, uh, to make those systems uh, work in a good way with, pu with public APIs. Uh, I think we need to uh, start build systems in the industry from the beginning designed to be open through uh, APIs. And today we, for example, do a lot of transformations between um, the public APIs and the internal uh, infrastructure. And this is uh, quite tricky when it comes to uh, updates and, and change management of those uh, systems. You have to make the changes in many different steps and, and that makes this process quite slow and complicated. But it would be great to hear more about experiences from other industries. I, I think this can't be a problem only in the public transport industry that you have old systems for, for, for building APIs. Secondly, we need to define standards and maybe more important, we, start, we need to start use those standards. Uh, today, it differs from different regions and also different nations when it comes to, for example, such an easy thing as journey planning. Uh, when you make this call, for example, uh, in, in a certain region, it's... Uh, it's different calls in different regions and you also get different inf information uh, from, from different uh, regions and countries. And this makes it really hard to create applications and services covering more than one specific region or one country. Uh, it would be really great if it was possible to make services that could cover a larger area, I think. And thirdly, we need to redefine our information flows in the industry. Today, we, we as an industry creates all information and, and we distribute it through different channels, such as APIs. But uh, we also need to start use the power of gathering this information together with our users and third parties. Uh, for example, when it comes to disturbance information and, and real-time information, it would be possible to allow third parties to deliver this information into our systems and create much better information. But uh, that's kind of tricky today because our back office systems are kind of complex and, and they are built for, for, uh, for one quality level of this information and, and also uh, they aren't built for so many actors contributing with information at the same time. Finally, and maybe the largest challenge, but I th think it's the most important, is to open up uh, ticketing in public transport to third parties. Uh, 
I believe that the the true power of third parties uh, will come in place first when when it will be possible to sell and distribute tickets through APIs. And uh, this is uh, something that hopefully will be possible in the future, but it's quite a political question how you deal with this. And, and um, as you may understand, it's, it's, it's a big step from going to information to, to ticketing and, and uh, those parts. Yeah, that was my quite short presentation. Um, thank you for listening. But I hope that there are some questions about those areas and maybe some experiences from other industries where someone has faced something similar. Any questions? There's one. Hi. Um, so sorry, I don't have any question regarding those <laughs> two you, you seek, but but I'm more interested in where this, does this uh, initiative come from? Because I think it's really great having this open platform for public transportation. Is this like a decision? Public, uh, uh, is this a political decision in Sweden, or is it even from the EU? Where, where, where? No, it, it was uh, actually. Uh, it was a decision made from public transport here in Stockholm together with some traffic and uh, nationwide to, to create this platform. And I would say that the background was that application and, and services was developed that was great and, and people uh, didn't really know how to handle this. Uh, some people were discussing how we could sh shut down those services, but then the answer became uh, th this kind of uh, collaboration with third parties. Uh, then afterwards, I it has been some kind of uh, political issue as well. I mean, with open data and stuff like that. But mm. that was afterwards, I would say. Mm. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Any other questions? Okay, that was easy. Thank you very much. Thank you.